was hugely important for me personally because I didn't know that this site existed for a start off, which is a certain amount of embarrassment and a certain amount of annoyance with people that are in charge who didn't tell anybody. But um, it's hugely important because this is about keeping their memory alive, keeping who they were alive and being able to talk about these people as, as human beings. You know, the fact that they were sold as sailors airmen, that doesn't take away that they were human beings. And it's about trying to bring their stories back to life, filling in some of the gaps. You know, if we can get school children to do that, they can find out so much. They have all the modern mediums to do that. You know, and, and young people are great on computers and such. Like, it, it would be getting them to use that in an, invest, in an investigative way. And I would love to see that happen. Um, because, you know, we've a 43-year-old. What did he do before he went to war? Um, we've a 17-year-old. We know he, he should have been delivering milk and papers. You know, um, just a boy. And it's about finding out all their stories. And it's about making sure that their lives mattered. They were human beings. You know, just because they wore a uniform, it didn't stop them being human beings. And, you know, we're all the same at the end of the day. And when we go, it doesn't matter what you've accumulated through life. You know, there are no pockets in a shroud. You know, we're all the same. And when you're dead, you know, that's why rank doesn't have any privilege in a cemetery. You know, you lie alongside the people you fell alongside and served alongside. You know, um, and, and that's what it's all about for me. And the Living Memory Project is just such a sensible thing to do. It's about bringing the local cemeteries in the UK back to prominence and back to relevance and making sure these sites are relevant and getting young people to discover all the grave sites and maybe there might be one or two that have been forgotten about you know which is totally understandable considering the amount of work that people have to do and if they could discover that then you, you know the War Graves Commission would love that they would absolutely love that if there was one that they didn't know about they would be so grateful because people do, they really do want to, to, to be able to pay respect and, and to look after and tend their graves as well as everybody else's. You know, they're equally as important.